Hey everyone, this week's episode of FAQ Friday is all about the 10% rule. I've also added a link into the show notes with a free cheat sheet that's going to walk you step by step into implementing this method. So on Monday, I wrote a blog all about a system that I created called the 10% rule. And it's designed to help you save hundreds of dollars every month whenever you're writing your budget. Since writing the blog, I've had a lot of questions about what it really is and how it really does save you hundreds. So today I'm going to break it down for you. Whenever you sit down to write your budget for the month, you're going to take your income and you're going to break it into categories. You're going to allocate some for your rent or mortgage, some for your bills, your internet, your cable, and then you're going to start allocating some for your entertainment, your restaurants, gas, groceries, and all those other things. Once you've spread your income across your budget and every dollar is assigned to something, then there's a little something extra that you can do. We're going to look for categories that have a little bit of wiggle room. I'm not talking about your mortgage or your water bill. You have to pay the amount that they want you to pay on those. I'm talking about things like your clothing, your entertainment, or your food bills. What you're going to do is you're going to list those out on your paper and you're going to cut each one by 10%. I promise you the difference is going to be minimal and you're barely going to feel it. However, it's going to save you so much money that you can put towards whatever your goals are. So let's say you allocated $200 to restaurants. What you're going to do is you're going to cut it by 10%, which is $20. You're going to take that $20 and you're going to set it aside for your debt payments, your emergency fund, whatever you're working towards right now. And your new restaurant budget is $180. Now let's face it, $20 difference, that's one meal. That's not a huge deal. However, by doing this to multiple categories in addition to your restaurants, like entertainment, clothing, or just average spending money, you're going to put more money aside and that's going to save you hundreds each month. And the thing is, it's not forever. Once you've reached those goals, once your debt is paid off, you can refund those categories later. The point is sacrifice, and feel free to cut more than 10%. 10% is just an easy guideline, but if you can handle cutting 20%, that's just even more that can head towards your goal. There are two more pieces to the 10% rule that I outline in this week's blog. Head over to my website and check it out for more ways that you can reach those financial goals faster. And don't forget to click that link in today's show notes for the cheat sheet that's going to walk you step by step into implementing the 10% rule into your budget today. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode. If you have a question, send it to info at craigdacy.com. Don't forget to share this video so that anyone you know who might find this information valuable can see it. Thanks guys. I will see you next week.